Show it. We on a world tour with cream cheese in my hand. Got our graham crackers over here and an egg and some butter, man. Oh, Ooh. what are you guys doing? Welcome Ooh. back to Heavenly Eating. We're making cheesecake today. Max, you love cheesecake? I love it. I'm from, I've been in Pittsburgh, man. They love cheesecake. Do they? Oh, I didn't know that. Cheesecake factory. Everybody <laughs> goes. Everybody goes. <laughs> Check it out, peeps. We got graham crackers. So we're going to make a graham cracker crust. A uh, real simple one is just butter, uh, graham crackers, a little sugar. Because why wouldn't you want pounds of cream cheese with more sugar and then you add more sugar to it? And everyone thinks this is like the hardest thing in the world, but I'm going to show you guys. It's such an easy thing, it's going to blow your mind. You're going to be like, no fucking way, I had no idea I could make cheesecake this quick. How easy is this thing? Oh my god. So, <laughs> by, by the way, they could watch this video and make it literally in the same amount of time it takes to watch this video, most likely. Most likely, along that same amount. All you really need is an oven. Um, so, I got something a little bit more fancier, and this is a freeform pan, it's called. Uh -huh. And what what it does, it like holds mini cakes and things like that. But we're going to put the, the crust in here. We put the tin foil there so that it doesn't melt out through the bottom or anything. So, it just like works its way right in here. Cool. Pretty cool, right? Graham crackers. What you guys know about graham crackers? What I know is they make a delicious cheesecake crust. It's classic. It's really easy. We're going to do this kind of shortbread style. So what we're going to do is take our graham crackers. Do you see the graham crackers? I'm going to take them. I'm putting them into my hands. I'm breaking them? And I'm going to smash them like the Hulk. Hulk smash! You want to crunch them all up. You need to get them all crunched up nice and small. Not like, you could put it in a, in a food processor if you got one, but doing it by hand is so much fun. I guess you get in touch with your food, you know? Feel it. Old fashioned style. Yeah, I think that's why a lot of the, like people, women in the kitchen and men in the kitchen back then were so happy. It's just because it's like they were so hands on with so much. In touch with nature. Exactly. Like that lady we were interviewing. That was, uh, she was saying it. She taught people in, in New Jersey. There were lots of people that she What's taught. What's her name? Sylvia Lair. We're going to have her coming up in one of our episodes that you guys will be seeing. And That's, it's, yeah, I'm really excited for that one, you guys. She yeah, cooked yeah. with Jacques Pepin. That's crazy. Crazy. For you people who don't know who Jacques Pepin is, go out there and research him. You're, it'll, it'll make you really interested to want to see what's going on. Oh, yeah. She's met people like Julia Childs who know... Bread Putin! That's Julia Child. She was there for that shit. Martha that's Stewart, a, too. Martha Stewart. Reviewed her first book in the 80s, so that's how long she's known Martha. She talks about all this cool stuff in this video, you guys. I'm really excited for you guys to see it. And her books, which I've given one to Frank to read, and he, he liked it. I he did enjoy it. it. I thought it was awesome. Yeah. So. so there you go. You see how it's kind of broken up now? Perfect. Nice and crumbled. Just give it another quick little shake to see if you got all the rest of the big chunks. That didn't take long, did it? No. All right, then we're gonna add a tablespoon of butter and two teaspoons of flour. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our fork and we're just gonna kind of mash it up until it, the butter has sort of filmed a, a dough in there. Here we are. Now this is what the crust looks like when it's done. You should be able to like squeeze it together and it stays together like so. Okay. All right, now we're gonna dump the crust into the mold. So put it in there, work on a flat surface, okay? It's not good to not work on a flat surface. It's a little bit of a messy job, too. Yeah, yeah. And well, then we're going to press it down. Hey, guys. Boom. Graham cracker crust inside. Now what we're going to do is throw it in the oven for a little bit so that the butter can absorb and melt into the graham crackers. How long does it take? Five minutes. Really? At the most. Yeah. It's just a quick bake to melt the butter, get there. Our oven is Do I have heated. to spread it then after when it's hot? Like no, no, no. This is this. You're just making the crust. Okay. We're kind of like baking out the flour flavor, so we're left with just like a crust flavor. Sweet. Now we're gonna put this baby in the oven for five minutes. Okay, here we go. Now while that crust is in the oven, we're gonna speed things up a little bit, and we're gonna do two things at once. Say it with me, people. Two things at once. What's that in your hand? Cream cheese. And what's the other? Sugar. Right here? Egg, salt, vanilla extract. That's it. That's it. That's it. So the cream cheese is, is up to like room temperature. 
Um, that, it'll, it'll whip better that way. If you whip it cold, it's going to be harder to whip it. Mix. Mix and mix. Boom, take cream cheese, put it in there. Boom, take your egg, you put it in there. Boom, you take your sugar, you put it in there. Salt. Yo, come hang out with me for a minute, Max. We gotta get this crust out. Oh, you can smell it, right? You can feel the heat. That's 475. Oh my god, it looks great. Wonderful. You can smell it, right? Oh. It's like salty graham cracker, bro. This is gonna blow your mind. You're gonna love cheesecake. Now we're left with a cheesecake mess. How do you turn cheesecake into cake, Max? Well, you bake it, because there's egg in there, and egg is a binder. Come over here. Come check out what I'm about to do. We're gonna slowly fill the whole thing up. Yep, we're gonna fill it right up. A wise man once told me, don't dry cook your cheesecakes. What does that mean? It means, like a custard, a cheesecake is delicate. Very, very delicate. And so, just like the creme brulee, if you might have watched our last video, um, we put it in a little water bath, and we do the same thing with the cheesecake. And this oh. helps set the egg and cream cheese mixture. It ends up being like a, a sort of... I guess custard in itself a cheesecake is, but it's a little bit firmer because of the cream cheese. So it needs to chill? So it definitely needs to chill before you go at it. it takes about an hour. One will probably won't take as long as like if you were to make like a party's worth. And even it takes even less time if you make like little mini ones. Mm. Once you totally can do. Size matters. Size matters. Uh, it differentiates how long you cook it for. Okay. So cake bite is different than... Yeah, cheesecake. Okay. We take it, we put it into, because we're only cooking one, we're just going to use this small metal bowl to cook it in, because that way it'll just be fine. We go over to the sink. We fill it up with a little water. About an inch of water up the side, like so. We take it over here, we put it into the oven for about 20 minutes. And then we Does check it at 20 and it might need another 20, but... Do you have right to put now. it on the cookie sheet? Uh, the cookie sheet helps okay. stabilize them. Because okay. a lot of ovens, you know, have racks. I mean, don't put a cheesecake on a rack, it won't cook very well. From the depths of the kitchen called 121, we bring you... Look like. You feel it, Max? Wow. So what's gonna happen is it's gonna rest and it's gonna deflate. Yeah. And then it's gonna have that nice cheese cup texture, cheesecake texture. That's kind of what you're looking for. Oh really? Yep. It's gonna be awesome. So now what we do is we take our tongs, we lift it up out of the water, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in our refrigerator to rest and cool down. It's gonna take about an hour two hours to cool down the cheesecake. If you have smaller ones, it takes less time. But this is going to be like a little mini cheesecake, like one that you would get at like a fancy schmancy deli. So this would probably take... Skirt. This is like a $6 selling cheesecake at any store. Okay, and how long would it take the rest since it's $6? Uh, I would I would go for the max of two hours. Okay. Alright, here we are. Cheesecake is rested now for about two hours. You can see it's super... Uh, what's it called? Together and cooked. Is the, that the graham cracker on the bottom? Yep, that's the graham cracker crust. It has turned into a crust, as you can see. It's not any longer that um, crispy dough. It's more of a dough now. And then on top, if you flip it, see oh, how the cheesecake wow. is cooked over? It's very firm. It's like almost jello-y. Mm -hmm. That's what you're looking for. Um, so what we're going to do to pour over top of it, to just do a simple decoration, is a caramel sauce. And it's just sugar. Oh, better get it all out. Need it. Yep, sugar and water. And then what we're gonna do is bring that to a um, temperature of around three. Should take about 15 minutes. 
probably about 3, 325. Somewhere in between soft candy and hard candy if you have a candy thermometer. Okay. Hey, so now we're seeing the, the color of the caramel form. As you can see, it's almost like a, a tannish um, yeah. caramel color. That's what you look for, the caramel color. Um, so now that we have that caramel color, what we're doing is we're taking it off of the heat. And this grab is your whisk and grab your butter. And this is the most dangerous part because what it's going to do is like frizz up like crazy. So what you're going to do is you're going to add your... Butter don't want to come out. Butter didn't want to come out. So you grab the butter and dump that in there. You give that a stir. As you can see it's starting to caramelize a little bit. You see it? Yeah, instantly. All right, you're looking for that butter to melt. You know, we might want to make this a salted caramel. Does that sound better? Oh my god. So now that we got that butter in there, you see it's starting to become caramel. The next thing you do is add a little liquid to it to really fill it out. And this is where it kind of gets even more dangerous. We add heavy cream. Oh, whoa. An eighth of a cup of heavy cream. And usually when it has a bigger one, it makes a bigger mess. But then you stir that in there. And what you're left with is a really nice caramel sauce. Now you can use this to dump it over all sorts of fun stuff. Ice cream. Now we have a caramel ready. It's time to take the cheesecake out of the mold. So what you want to do is gently press up on this so it starts to come up. And then gently press the other way too so that it starts to come down. So you can see it's starting to pop out. Now we're going to drizzle the caramel over the cheesecake. Not a ton, just enough to make it start running down the sides. 